That's whack, huh? Mm. Mm. Let me let me get in here. Let me get in here. I gotta give y'all some little feels in the beginning. You know what I'm saying? Since I don't have no intro, gotta give y'all something appealing. So, cool. All right, so boom. <laughs> what y'all been up to? I ain't made no video in what, like a month or so. I'm not even gonna hold y'all. I kind of got discouraged with all like these new rules YouTube got going on and the 18 and under and the kids and certain stuff you can and can't do. So I don't know. But I was like, I'll just post content and if they take it down, they'll take it down. And if I curse, because I do tend to curse a lot, then I'll just beat myself out. So other than makeup, it seems like you guys really love story times. And I, boy, let me tell you, oh, I got a lot of stories. I really got a lot of stories, but I can't tell y'all everything. You know what I'm saying? Can't tell y'all too much, but I can give y'all something here and there. So I'm gonna make this little story time quick because I mean it was a long drawn out thing and I want to do give a I wanted to give a disclosure. This happened to me when I was a senior in high school. I am how old am I? That's the MGNA. 31 years old now. So this happened a long time ago. I don't condone doing this or making a lifestyle out of it. I mean, baby, if that's what you do to pay your bills, that's on you. But I don't do it personally. Um I didn't even know that I was in a situation when it happened, but this 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 is this is what happened, you know, it's my life. So I was damn car alarm. This car alarm keep going off. So I met this person when I was 15, 15 years old, and they were a couple years older than me. Um met in a kind of a weird situation we want to go in in depth about that but fast forward this is the first person that i cared about or i thought it was my first love and all this other shit right so <clears throat> i had really low self-esteem um I, I have videos on that you know what i mean so i'm like what like this person give me attention i remember for valentine's day he got me like a purse a bag and like a ring or something like that and i was like <laughs> like y'all can't tell me nothing i'm walking around with that little circle ring on like you know how you know when bitches be getting their nails done and they be trying to take pictures like you know like little stuff like that to show off their nails that's how i was with this ring girl okay thought i was really doing something carrying this purse every day mother purse don't even match with all my outfits all right it was like pink and black and it had a j on there and i just thought i was a shit you know what i mean but anyway fast forward to my senior year we still talking and my young adolescent mind i'm thinking you know this is the person you know we go it's gonna be he uh, what is it called happily ever after it's all me so first red flag um that i should have seen First off, you know, when you're in love or you feel like you're in a certain situation that <clears throat> like there's nobody else and nobody like this person will never do me wrong. And, you know, I really this was really like the first first person that I caught myself in some type of relationship. So I didn't know how to, you know, look out for certain stuff. I was really green. That's what it was. I was really green in the situation and I didn't know. So first red flag was he had a going away party and you know i was there or whatnot um but the whole time he never really just sat down he was kind of like moving around here and there and i was just like okay but i just thought it was like you know what you got your friends and family there because he was leaving he was going off to the military and i was just like okay you know he he got stuff, he got stuff to do. Like, you're not about to just sit down with you the whole time. Like, who you think you are? You know what I mean? Like, so I was just like, oh, okay. Like, I noticed, um, I noticed somebody there, but it was a lot of chicks there. You know what I mean? Like, so you can't just really decipher. And I was just like, okay, I thought it was weird that I probably maybe seen him maybe once or twice throughout the, the whole event. It wasn't just ever just like a sit down for a long time. You know, I kind of felt like out of place or whatever. And I'm just like, oh, okay. All right, fast forward past that. 
he gets um shipped off or, or what have you to go do whatever he did you know in the military so this whole time we're still talking on the phone we're still writing letters I'm still in high school, you know what I mean? I'm passing up people like, oh, you know, I already got my, you know what I'm saying? Like, y'all can't even talk to me because I'm cool. You know, he older, like everybody else. Y'all y'all still talking to these little high school joints, da 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 girl, dumb. <laughs> okay, dumb as hell. So um, we still steadily talking, da 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 I'm sending like little, you know, regular pictures of myself because they couldn't really have phones when they got shipped out after a while so um he had randomly no it was my birthday he had all his little shipmates or whatever call and tell me happy birthday you know i was i was juiced up like you know he didn't call you took out his time he's supposed to be training or whatever he didn't forget about my birthday like he got his whole little roommates and buddies to call and tell me happy birthday you know so i'm on cloud 11 girl you know what i'm saying this little piece of hair is out of line this is what happened when you don't condition your hair with color but anyway so i'm on cloud 11 cloud 12 7 however many numbers is on the cloud that's that's where i was so i want to say maybe this happened a long time ago so i can't really remember but maybe like a week later he ended up breaking up with me baby <sighs> baby girl i feel like somebody like snatched my whole soul out like first off i'm a cancer if that means anything to anybody so i'm like very emotional when it comes to people that i care for like i i shouldn't do this and i've learned how to do this but i've cared so much about other people more than i have myself in the past and you know lesson learned when it comes to that but I mean, I cried, like, cried. Mm -hmm. Every day. I remember I was laying on the couch crying so she couldn't cry no more. Like, my mama couldn't even do nothing no more but hand me some Kleenex. Like, I was just that broke down. I really feel like. I didn't have no energy like somebody just sucked the life out of me. Y'all know that little first love, you know. So, well, some of y'all was a little player player. Y'all bounce back, so y'all can't relate. But me, on the other hand, I take everything to heart. I, you know, I give my hundred when I'm talking to somebody or I care for somebody. So, I just really took it to heart. And I was just like, you know, what did I do? And da 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 da. So, I'm just like, okay. You know, after a while, I kind of got over it. Got to my other relationship, graduated high school, da, da, da. So I hadn't spoke to him. It was either maybe almost a year or something like that. And he, he had came back around and, you know, apologized. And, you know, you know how this shit go, da, 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 da. And I'm just like, okay, cool. Um, So we started talking again, just, you know, on a friendship level. And, um he had moved out of state and we were you know we were still connecting um he was still working at the time and you know i thought everything was cool i'm just like okay well at least we can build a friendship since nothing else worked in the past i was young you know what i mean it was just like i said i ain't know how how was moved around how dudes moved around at the time so let's learn but so anyway we we were really conversing but I would realize that, like, he used to be, like, really short. Like, he would only talk to me in the car or, like, sometimes through instant messenger, email, da 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 But, like, this time around, like, you know, I wasn't really taking it to heart because I was here. He was there, you know. I um, Was I talking to somebody? I think I was talking to somebody, but I don't. Yeah, I said I wasn't. No, hold on. Let me think about it. No, so we were just talking. We weren't in a relationship because this was my, yeah, end of senior year. End of senior year or the summer of something like that. Child, it's been like over 11, 10, 11, 12 years ago. I don't know. But um, so he was real short. And, you know, I kind of, I was catching on this time around. Like I said, I had kind of got a little bit more life experiences over those couple of months. And I'm just like, all right, 
whatever like maybe he's busy he's still in the military he's still doing his thing so one night i get a call from him he was in a car he was going to some gathering at a friend's house or something we talked like we regularly do it was cool everything was everything was gucci and i'm just like oh, okay it was like probably maybe 10 or something 10 or 11 at night it was late and i was just like okay uh he was like i'm about to head in da, da, da. i'm like okay cool you know gets off the phone with him let me say you have my phone rang at like one in the morning midnight to so one in the morning and i looked at the call id and i seen his name and i'm like the fuck like why is he calling me so late like what I'm thinking he must have been drunk or, you know, because he did say he was going to a party and he was just calling me maybe on his way home or something. So first I answered the phone and I'm like, what's up? And it was quiet. And I was just like, hello. Didn't hear anything. And I'm just like, okay, like maybe he butt down me, you know, that happens. Or maybe he dropped his phone on the something in a car or the seat or something maybe he intoxicated da, da, da. so i was like all right so i hung up about 15 20 minutes later the phone started ringing again from his phone and i'm just like now listen like we're not about to do all this because uh i need to go to sleep and i'm about to put this phone on silent like i don't like put my phone on silent because you know just in case something happens but anyway I answered, I'm like, boy, like, what are you doing? Like, are you drunk? Like, am I still in your pocket? Like, what's up? He was like, she was like, who is this? Come again, say what? What? Excuse me? Come again? I was like, well, who is this? Like, you know, like, you call me? Like, what's up? She like, this is such and such as wife. Wife? Like, girl... He didn't tell me he had no wife. Like, <laughs> uh, no. I was like, I, I ain't know nothing about any of that. She's just like, yeah, like, I knew about you and this, that, and the other from a long time ago. And I'm thinking, well, like, bitch, if you knew about me from a long time ago, like, why you ain't never say nothing the whole time? I never knew that they were together the whole time. Like I said, I was younger and he was older than me by at least three years. Like, obviously he graduated before me out of high school and he left. So I'm thinking like, if you were okay with that, like why you didn't let me know? You know what I mean? Like, I'm not for that. Um, well, I'm for if you find out to converse with the girl. Because sometimes it'll be like people like me that really don't know Um what the situation was and then there's uh females that just don't care period they're like oh well he funded my life um yeah i knew about you this is my position that i that that wasn't the case baby that really wasn't the case so i'm like girl no like she, she, i'm like you know how long what like how long like what's going on she like yeah we moved down here we got married uh when he got enlisted da da da, da. and i'm just like okay she was like i just want you to know like he's a very aggressive person and um i was at the party that you know we were at the party together and i took his phone because i had seen that he um has started texting you again and i'm back at the house and he's still at the party and i just want you to know that he's this that and the other mind you it's two something in the morning maybe later and i'm all the way in the midwest and they're all the way on another coast and i'm just sitting here like what do you want me to do about it like i'm sorry like i never knew anything about you so that low-key hurt me because i told y'all i was already sobbing and when I when he had broke up with me a couple of months back and I didn't know it had anything to do with a female. I just thought it was because, you know, he was older. He was out in the military, gonna meet meet other girls. Like he wasn't worried about me. You know what I mean? So that's what I took it as. And she was just like, No, like he said he was gonna stop talking to you a long time ago and you're not the only person. Like I'll call him with so many people and this, that, and the other. And I'm just sitting there listening. And then I just heard boom, boom, boom. And I'm thinking, what the is that? 
And I was like, what is this? She was like, he's kicking the door in. See, I told you he was aggressive, da 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 And it was just like, uh, uh, uh. And I'm just like, uh, you know, at this point, your girl over here getting antsy because I'm like, I don't know what y'all got going. I'm in another state. I can't call the police. Like, you know, like what's going on? So he finally opened the door, I guess. And I heard the phone fall and, you know, like, you know, have somebody on the phone and it start rolling and stuff like that. And I'm just like, what? girl i just heard the phone hang up and i'm just sitting on the couch i was at my cousin's house at the time like floored like what am i supposed to do i can't do anything about it you know what i mean i'm not gonna call back the little girl didn't already told me that they were supposedly married um can't call the police i'm not in that state you know what i mean so i was just up in shock and i was just like Okay, you know, I had to end up going to sleep because it wasn't anything else that I could do about the situation. So I want to say the next day or maybe the next couple of days, he ended up calling me, apologizing. And I'm just like, my G, like I thought we we were at least, you know, cooler than that. You know what I mean? I'm trying to give you the leeway. I'm thinking you stop talking to me so you can live your life. Da, da, da. And you got a whole wife, like a whole wife, not half of one. You know what I mean? You got a whole wife. And you ain't saying that like, how does that even happen? You know what I mean? And now that I look at it, I can't even say now that I look at it that I've seen signs because he was on active duty. They couldn't have phones and training. We were writing. Um, you know what I mean? Now, looking back when we started talking as friends or what have you, um, I realized that he would always call me on a go or something like that. But I never had no situation when somebody called my phone, um, text me, anything like that. Like, I didn't know any of her friends, da 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 nothing, you know what I mean? So, there's no way that I could figure out. So, he goes on to just say, like, he married her for convenience, um, uh, in regards to the military situation, da 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 and I'm just sitting here, like... What happened? Like, she was like, they got in an argument and they were at a party and she stole his phone and seen that we had been texting and he had been calling me and she drove to the house and called me and locked him out the, locked him out the house. And that's when they start arguing and he couldn't get in. So that was him banging on the door or kicking or whatever they were doing um, so he can get in the house because she wouldn't let him in the house. And I was just like, yeah, I don't. Mm -mm. I, don't, I don't want any parts of that. I, I don't need that. No, sir. Like, the girl was already crazy when she called. Um, I mean, for good reason. If I, you know, suppose it was married, even if it was arranged or not, you know, and I seen this person texting or calling, and he's already told you supposedly that, you know, you're not supposed to be talking to this girl. And you're talking like, I'd be pissed off in her situation as well. So I'm just like, yeah, we can't even, on a friend level, like, I don't even think we can talk on a friend level. You need to, you need to handle that out. You know what I mean? That's, that's majorly disrespectful. Um, Of course, his side of the story was totally different from hers. I couldn't decipher out the two, but needless to say, I didn't talk to him for, I don't know, maybe two years later down the line, they had got divorced and we're really, we're really cool. We really cordial friends now, like, but it was just some wild shit. So yeah, that's, that's one of my little stories that I can drop down for y'all. Uh, yeah, the, the side chick life is not for me. And if I would have known ahead of time, I would have already made my little way out. Probably would have dropped some tears still, but them tears probably would have dried on my pillowcase a little quicker. You feel me? Anyway, so that's my story time today. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if y'all want to hear some more story times. I don't know how many more I could just actually discuss because my life, especially in my 20s, are hectic. Like, I would have to change names, events, all, all type of stuff. Um, next video, I got a lot of stuff for Christmas in regards to makeup. 
I want to do um, a prom edition. This is my look I did tonight. It was um, prom inspired. I used the Moroccan palette by Fenty Beauty and a little bit of the It's My Ray Ray palette. Um, so I want to do a review on that and I want to do a review on some of the beauty bakery products that I received from my mom and sister. I got their primer oil, their lippy, um, and an eyeshadow palette. They didn't give me a foundation because it's hard to match me, obviously. But anyway, that's all I got for y'all. Again, like, comment, and subscribe and let me know what other content you guys will see. All right. See y'all later.